Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Richard Carpenter and today we're going to be looking at packaging design in Adobe Illustrator. Although this is an Illustrator tutorial, we're actually going to be starting it in Adobe Photoshop and this is just to create the marble type background effects that we're going to use. So the first thing we need to do is create a new document size which matches our size of our label. Uh, the size of the label I'm going to be creating is actually 1500 pixels by 3000 pixels. Obviously with the label being done in vector format it can be scaled up or down as big as you like. Once you've created your new document the first thing you need to do is just reset our colors to black and white and then go to filter, render, difference clouds, then back to filter, render, fibers and we just want to use a variance of 16 and a strength of 4 and then just click OK. Next we want to apply liquify filter so go to filter, liquify and then just using the forward warp tool which is shortcut W we just want to move the fibers to create a marble type pattern. Now we can actually achieve this pattern in Adobe Illustrator. If you do want to see a tutorial on how to do that then uh, just let me know in the comments below. And once you've got a good variation of different strands, different colors, really good marbling effect going on then just, uh, just click OK. Once you're happy with the marbling effect we basically need to copy and paste this now into Adobe Illustrator. So Control on the keyboard to select all, Control C to copy, then head over into Illustrator, edit, paste, and then just vertically and horizontally center that within the artboard. Now to turn the marbling effect into a vector shape, what we can do is use the image trace tool. So I can select the image trace tool from the top, or you can go to window and then select image trace. So the image trace settings you want to use are mainly the mode, which is black and white. Threshold, we can leave as 128. And then if you click this little arrow, which opens up the advanced options, if we just select ignore white, and then just preview that and see what that looks like. And once Illustrator is in its thing, yeah, completely happy with that, that's fine. And we just want to go to the expand option at the top, which is now turned a marbling shape into a vector shape. Now we have the foundations of our background effect in place. We can now start adding some colour and start adding some of the uh, elements which are going to make up the label. I've actually put the hex value codes for the colours I'm going to be using and I've also created a very quick sample logo which I'm going to be using for the label. So first you're starting with our marble effect background select the rectangle tool, click anywhere within the canvas area and create a rectangle which matches the same size as our pattern and our illustrator artboard which is 1500 pixels wide and 3000 pixels tall. Select on the keyboard for the eyedropper tool and we just want to colour pick the darkest blue colour and then vertically and horizontally centre that within the artboard and then finally just right click, arrange and just send that to back. Now for the marble effect, just select the lighter blue colour. With the marble pattern effect still selected, we can actually change the transparency to something a bit more subtle. So under the transparency panel, select the blend mode soft light. And that will just give us a nice contrasting colour between the light and darker blue. Once we're happy with the colours, if we just lock the background rectangle and the marble pattern in its place, stop it from moving and then we can start adding the actual textual elements to the label. So starting with the logo, again this was just a quick logo that I created very very quickly, not much thought put into it just for the purpose of this tutorial, we just want to centre that within our label. To accompany the logo I think it would be nice to have some kind of text around it, give it more of a badge style look, so I think we'll do that next. So starting with the ellipse tool, just drag an ellipse around the logo, remove the solid fill colour and then using the text on a path tool, so if you just hold the left mouse button down on the text tool, from the flight menu select type on a path tool. Simply click on the path and then it will add the text around that path. And then we just want to add the text that we want to use, colour it in the colour white 
and then if you select the direct selection tool and there should be a little line along the path and when you notice that the cursor changes to this little black up arrow if you click and drag you can actually drag the text inside the ellipse rather than on the outside and then we just want to align that up so it's roughly center to our logo next we can start adding some of the textual elements which relate to the actual product so things like the coffee blend where it's from the type of roast net weight all them types of things we can start adding to the label so once you've added the text you might look something like this obviously with this being a fictitious company obviously there's no set parameters or there's no brand guidelines to go by so generally you would actually use the font which is dictated within their brand guidelines obviously you'd set out the information which they would want to set out um, in terms of the layout you can have a play about with it but I'm literally just going to use a linear format to separate each item with uh, a quick stroke using the line segment tool with the lines in place I'm going to do the roast next so the roast will be determined by a number of circles so I'll put the first circle in the center and then hold the alt key and drag the other one to the side to make a duplicate and then to make sure that these circles are evenly spaced I'm going to use the blend tool so W on the keyboard the shortcut or set the blend tool from the tool menu on the left select the first circle and then set the second circle double click the blend tool icon on the toolbar to bring up the options panel change the space into specified steps and we're going to change that to 3 to give us a total of 5 click OK then go to object blend expand again using the ellipse tool we're just going to zoom in and draw another ellipse change the colour to white and then vertically and horizontally centre that within one of the circles to finish off the label I'm going to wrap all these details within a rectangle so I'm just going to create a rectangle around everything send the rectangle behind all the text and then just horizontally align that center and then I'm changing the color to the same dark blue color then finally the label won't be complete without my rich GFX branding so I'm just going to create my logo down the bottom and that's our label complete obviously you could use this for a base there might be other products or variations of this product in which case what we could do is actually recolor the artwork to create other variations and a good way of doing that is if we just unlock our background layers make a selection around everything and go to object group and then go to edit edit colors recolor artwork if you select the edit tab and then the little chain icon at the bottom to link harmony colors if you link if you lock that up and then start moving some of the color handles what you can do is actually create other variations of that label in the different colors obviously all the colors will be harmonized and you could literally just create an unlimited amount of variations of that one label that's all for this one if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give me a like down below also don't forget to comment if you do need any help with any more tutorials link to the discord channel is in the description below i'll see you all in the next one